yeah, that was just a random Dota 2 TP game. Well, time to get counterpicked. Your turn to pick. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Harsh reality here. Your turn to pick. Okay, I got till 3 p.m. So I have exactly two hours from right now. I actually lost like 25 minutes waiting for this game. But me and Edison are pretty high rank, so relatively for party at least. Or shaker quap. Ten percent evasion. They are grabbing all AOE abilities. Your turn to pick. Ah uh, yes. I actually really like the diffuse alliance, so cool. Although I, I really like the shape of the original spear, that one's pretty sick too. Alright, time to watch me not play so great on PL, and I'm against a Weaver. Basically, they're all going to be decent heroes against PL. But I do get a free wand, that's pretty cool. if it's worthwhile for me to go something like Soul Ring, cast a lot of spells. I mean, draining his mana is not all bad. They do have a lot of disables, though. Certainly gonna need, like, a Manta at some point. And probably just go Defusal build. Maybe get a drum in there. Maybe, like, Brown Boots, Drum, one Defusal. Just get a lot of early attack speed stuff. Because our team... It's pretty strong early. I feel like focusing a little bit more early game is not bad. Maybe I should go treads though. For tread switching. Yep, Maxine Phantom Rush is definitely very common. So it's, it's a good idea. Um, just for the obvious reasons. I mean, you get lower cooldown, which means you can chase better. Um, you can... Oh, I'll block for you. I mean, it increases your damage a lot, so if I use it to harass, it buffs your agility, which is a lot more right-click. It's like a 30 damage bonus for two hits, basically, and a gap closes. And Spirit Lance honestly doesn't scale very well. The best thing about it is the, um, the movement slow percentage goes up by a decent amount. But the, high, the best level of it is technically one damage-wise, so it just gets better illusion duration and stuff like that. Not the most important thing to have, for sure. Do I go Orb of Venom on PL? It's actually pretty good, yeah. For the reasons of... It, um... Your illusions can apply it. But it's definitely very good to, to harass opponents, but... If, uh, if I'm in a circumstance like this where... Um... I haven't bought it at the start of the laning stage, so I probably am going to skip it, I feel like. But against the Weaver, it definitely is tempting, because my one of the things I probably want to do is uh, zone him, just by harassing, so 
I kind of regret not having like a clarity potion or something because that way I'd be able to better focus on making sure he just takes too much damage and has to leave the lane. Because Shadow Shaman alone is going to have trouble zoning him. He's only got three tangos as well. I can obviously feed him some, but dealing with this Weaver is certainly a priority here. Maybe I'll just aim. Oh, do I have to get Aquila too? Maybe a drum is overkill. Oh, maybe not though. I don't know. Drum movement speed can be really good. Oh man. I'm going to blame PL collision speed on that one. You got me. My little dog is groaning. See that powerful hit just now, guys? Ooh. Get wrecked, friend. As I'm the one taking the damage, it should be just fine. If I can get free attacks like that, it's so so advantageous for me. So I do have a finite amount of mana, obviously. I actually took so much damage from him doing that right now. Run, boy, run! This is not good. No, they're not gonna do man, sorry. Would have had to hit that twice. I actually kind of feel like I should just rush Aquila really fast because then I would have. Um, faster. Guaranteed mana pool. That's a sentry. <gasps> Hell yeah. Nice job. That was all you. And my illusion. Dad, do you want me to sit top with you, dude? For a bit? Bullying you pretty fucking hard. Well, he bought a sentry ward of his own after dying. This is so worth it. They're all pretty low, too. Oh no, our observer ward. Alright. Feel like I can get along, get away with this. This is pretty dangerous for him. Like every time he lets me hit him twice like that, he's losing so much advantage. It could actually cost me so little. Oops. If you push the wave a little bit, I'll pull next wave. I probably went too early, I should have given him a second. No more mana if I uh, 
who doesn't want that is. Alright. He's almost out of mana. That's a really important thing about Weaver, if you're landing against him, is that you have to pressure him all the time. Because if you don't, he doesn't really run out of mana. So even though I know that... Even though I, that I know that um, he can survive if I if I try to pressure him at all, I still do it anyways because I know that it'll eventually lead to him being in a vulnerable position. Like here, he's only got like one or two left now. Felt like I had to get doppelganger there, no matter what. Felt pretty mandatory. Is drum silly here? Maybe I should just do this simple wand rush or uh, defusal rush. Ooh, big save from Jakiro. I did a lot less damage than I expected, but... that I had vision here. Oops. I'm taking way too much damage. Oh man, this is 100% a kill. I guess the bugs stay on me is how this works. I wasn't quite sure. Got me. Oh, let's go like. Oh, what is this guy? Three. There's virtually no threat at all. I should have nuked him way earlier. It's a pretty big mistake by me. Let's try it out. Sorry. All worked out, guys. No, no, no. He has, he has his ult. He has his ult. Will disable other than you know solos. <laughs> Got him. One little slap, dude. Basically, this guy's spending tons of time walking around and not actually doing anything, which is really good for us. Then he's not even getting a chance to farm. I also haven't looked anywhere else in the map yet, which is certainly a, a negative. I hope Michelle can get that.
that sucks. Um, that was a really bad time to be have to urgently sign something. Did we get denied as well? We didn't get denied at least, but that sucks. My tanks. Man, I thought I right clicked the co-op when I came out of the doppelganger, but I guess not. The bugs are certainly obnoxious. I think I probably doppelganged at the wrong time. I needed to doppelganger to dodge her scream of pain for that to be valuable, I think. Would have been how that had to go. Tower died though, so ultimately in the end, it's not all bad. right now which is pretty dangerous. Be safe. I feel like this is relatively safe. It's maybe not fast. It's only negative. I should definitely be top is where I should be. What's the weaver doing now? It's here three or four. I don't know why I just didn't right click him. I could have, if I just right clicked him, I would have hit him. But I kept thinking I'd get the cast off. She walked me to walk the curry right over him. That was kind of dangerous. Why am I not? Oh, where's the ward at? How does he see me? I guess. Let's uh, keep pressing the wrong button routinely. It's kind of a big issue. really notice the quilling blade missing huge damaging huge huge damage difference He's not to move around more, I guess. 
Kuro is actually pretty dangerous, I feel like, for me. Just because he deals so much magic damage. I'm back. Like, one to one offset everything. So we need to check what Quap is building. Start queen. Not having a TP here is actually really bad. So if this guy gets dived, could be in a really shit spot. Jungle needs is certainly faster. I need to be in fights, kind of, but... High bottom. They should know that I'm here, I suppose. Are we defending or no? Yeah. Ravage. If you ravage, I can kill TB. Forward, I should buy a TP scroll. This Jakiro has actually been quite annoying for me. Oh, I'm back. Oh shit, let me get. Remove dual breath and everything is fine there. Going to die for sure. Okay, I've been saved. We can kill her. Dudes. Yeah, it's actually quite needed here. Drone. I keep accidentally pressing this, I think, because well, I don't I'm not very comfortable with having drum over here, I guess. I should just do this. I don't know how key that actually like. Careful, Bop is coming to you, I think. I don't lose my VOTs. It's gonna give me 60 movement speed, which is very valuable. I don't really feel like we should be pushing them too hard here. I certainly have a ward on the cliff. I think seems obvious to me. This guy's going eggs. Trying all of his little manas.
certainly fucking dead. Well, that was just a bad idea. I didn't micro my illusions very well. I needed to get them on top of that guy a lot earlier, and I didn't do it. We should have just left. Like, there's no reason to stay around that long. Especially if they do ward, like, all the wards and shit. It's so difficult. I'm not using Diffusal Blade actively very often either. I'm just not playing very well. Not the best PL. And they do have, like, all very difficult to kill heroes that are good against PLs, the other issue, but... These guys together are certainly a good combo. They just make each other better. I think I just need to have a little bit more survivability. Finish my heart or something and everything will be fine. Run top, push that out. Then I can TP bot tier to me. Or I could just TP this fight and win the, win the fight for team. This winning fights is probably better. I think I kind of messed up not having doppelganger max second as well. I feel like I've had some, uh, needed it a little bit more early game to make some of these engagements go better. She jumps on your silence. No, she silences me. Three, four. We have time, I don't why are we scared? Expect. This is just so stupid. We're trying to wait too hard to like force this shit. Because maybe at the start. I guess at the start was the issue, maybe. I was playing too scared at the beginning. Either way, Orchid alone, even without Earthshaker, I think I'm still going to die from Echo Slam. So, do I rush Heart here? I guess. Skip Manta for a bit. I feel like that's not bad. But the army down here is going to be safer than going out the Rushing. They're rushing. Anyone wants to contest? Poor little dog. Oh my god, I fucking missed! Just telling them that I'm here. Weaver has eggs.
Ravaging Duke Hero was not bad, but I don't know if that was good either. Let's go get my... I don't know who that call was. Certainly should have. Oh no. Sorry, once one second career, sorry. Oh, we got him blade you have serving while I didn't kill either of these bros. That's a don't think that I've done the best job maxing my stuff. I feel like I'm just like slowly walking across smoke, the map. Yeah. Poorly farming. This man dead. He looks dead to me. Damn it. Took a long time to die at least. So this would normally be a great time to have Manto Illusions to push out the lane more. Fortunately, I'm not building that right away. are just blocking each other constantly. I should have probably jumped right away is what I should have done. I thought that I'd be able to catch him, no problem. But I swear, yeah. Wish I got more than zero one of those three last hits. So reflection sucks, kind of wrecks me, but I don't know if I did the right thing here or not. I guess I actually, I, it's probably, I probably don't want more drugs of illusions now I think about it, because that would just make Echo Slam better against me. So I think I made the right choice here. Definitely Wand Sail next, even though Drone is in a lot of ways worse. 
least in terms of my chance of surviving the movement speed and mana regen. The general stats it gives are not bad. It's even worth it for me to go and uh, I feel like it is. If I get gone on in a bad way, I could get really screwed, but. Good escape there. It's sort of like Basher or something. Like that's stupid or not. I feel like it's stupid. Almost certainly stupid. Over something like more edgy. Or I could go MKB. Should check up on uh, TB items since he got Scotty. I mean, he's obviously going to go Butterfly next. Maybe I can get Butterfly first. Maybe I should go Manta. Too hard. We will. About five, but there's definitely some. We take their. We really should be taking the shrine. Crazy thing is, we almost got that mid racks and it ends up living with like 50 HP. It would have changed the game so much, actually. A reflection on every single one of my illusions is kind of insane, but still no new items, I guess. Flex for in the Haskell BKB. I don't really need to, I don't have to. It's definitely obviously good in some cases, but.
my heart will go on, guys. Okay, I just need to go slow push up on him now. I don't know, maybe I needed to play a little bit more survivable. It felt so hard. My HP was really low during that entire moment, that entire fight. I don't even feel like I'm mana burning that much, to be honest. Tanky. Yeah, now I gotta go in KB, I guess. Could push on bottom, then swerve to mid me. Oh, nice, he's got X. My second doppelganger feels pretty good, I don't know. He's just gonna drain all my mana during this. I lose so much. It's got reflection up again. Huge team fight loss. If I have Manta, we can fight on there, but I basically can't get Echo Slam into Orchided or I'm gonna die. If we have a ward high ground, it'll probably be easier. Yeah, I think him initiating like that maybe it wasn't worth it, because we didn't really, all we did was kill some like. TB illusions with his Ravage. But if he sits back, he can basically save me, among other things. Oh, he didn't go Gush Armor. Oh, surely go Gush Armor if you have X, because you can apply minus four armor to the whole enemy team. I mean, I, I guess having more Kraken is good too, because of all the illusion damage, but surely he made a mistake here. I, do I buy back here? I really don't want to. I don't know. Is that crazy? Should we? I don't know. It's probably too late now. I don't know if buying back would have done anything either. If they get possibly just two racks out of this huge team fight loss. Probably should have bought back. I could have slowed it down a little bit. Hey, you got one. Okay, I need two barracks. If I get MKB, I don't know, I feel like I have to get Manta, there's like no... I need a Manta solution, I need a Manta solution, there's no way I can get around it. There's a lot of mana regen too, is the other issue. Definitely sell this. Clover drum, god I don't know. I feel like I saw Aquila. It's 
definitely nine edgy. It's definitely the thing I saw here. PKB, gotta get the jump on her. Maybe this is a mistake. Too much. There's nowhere to TP. I killed her at least. It's not bad. Probably should have gone Yasha. This is a mistake. I don't really need HP. The movement speed bonus from Manta or Yasha would have been so much better. This is like 25 attack speed and this is only 10. Not to mention the movement speed alone is huge. Can't really be there, guys. It's like no way we could. Everything. Run, boy, run! Three boys coming. We can still do this without Qua with Quap dead. Especially because I won't be able to get work at it. Oh, I'm sorry. Poked my sleeping dog. I have no me. mana, so. Oh, I'm gonna get back, I have no matter. It's a refresh on Earth Shaker. Yeah, that was a good match. are dealing a lot of damage but ultimately we have to we have to do what oh, we're gonna back. do. No, literally zero mana. See those ones squeak past me. It's such a big mistake. That buys them at least like 10 seconds. Come, little creeps. That's terribly bad. so hard for me. Like the reflection just keeps mana draining me so much. 
let's do this. Let's do oh my god, dude, that fucking ice pad. That ain't good. I don't have buyback either. Yeah, that shit's wrecking. So, next item, I could go Monkey King Bar. So, you got Lincoln's. I think Monkey King Bar is bad. I could go Scotty, potentially. That was dangerous, I think. It gives me illusions, but. Mostly gone. Your top is under attack. Also, just increase my damage. That's a good way to do that. Man, a region that increases damage would be like Battle Fear. Battle Fear. Yeah, I think I just have to get MKB as a simple reality. I'm gonna lose a lot of mana regen, which is what sucks though. I really feel like I need that uh, shit. I think just high ground. We have really good high ground. We don't. Just let them make a move next. Probably shouldn't have nuked that because now they know for sure that I'm. It's probably not worth. It's really dangerous. Okay, it's okay now. Pushed in top. Watching me with shadow blades. Hunger bugs, you don't give a shit. and surplus. It's actually a lot of damage to clump. Maybe a dangerous TP there, but... Hey, we can kill him real fast. We don't have creeps anyways. Oh. Actually want to go mid and push that in so he can backdoor. It's wasting what I'm doing with his axe. Let's get, let's get out. Let's I don't think it's a bad idea, but also very dangerous. That was so bad that I manted in front of the quaff like that. So dangerous.
That's not good. I guess I didn't think they would have five there. I don't know. We need... a clear damage. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you have eggs, you get double ulti. I played Sky the other day and I was wondering which one I should do. This is pretty scary for me, but, you know. This guy really doesn't have that much armor. If you can ult him, TP, or if you can ult him, Titan, I'll kill him. Titan, go, go, go. Especially with that, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. They actually didn't even need me at all there. You basically just had to guess which one was the real TB. He does 2,000 damage to it, and it doesn't hit the other illusions. I guess that's probably one of the that's one of the other nice benefits. And as long as they don't BKB the Ravage, then hmm. we could. Yeah, he dropped points. It's too bad. I just want to swap. Let's get my MKB. There's a little movement speed here, but this will help me kill the kill the TB a lot better. Really should have been attacking a lot earlier, but let's just push. Throw wards up. Play safe. We get wards down aggressively here. Bad time to fortify. Fear. I forgot about that, that it auto does that. I remember that against, um, what was it when I was playing uh, Dark Willow against a PL once as well? It like makes you run away at max movement speed. So I had a little trouble killing the TB, but he got uh, time lapse, I think, and he sundered once. So it was uh, maybe a little bit abnormal. I actually need to get back in the base, probably. Yeah. Quap could certainly kill me. Yeah, he definitely has. I think Sky is actually becoming a decentish hero if you play him correctly. The uh, level 15 arcane bolt per cast thing makes a big difference. 
Should probably play pretty safe for a little bit here. Here's a gem. It's kind of dangerous. We really shouldn't force a fight until I have buyback. We should get buyback and then maybe force one. Click on shit. Okay, let's go. do actually is do MKB over or uh, diffusal over MKB. I think that's going to do way better. Yes. I revealed that this was the real one. I keep getting these like echo slams, I swear. under one of my illusions so hard. Will this actually turn out positively for me? I don't know, man. I feel like we can't do this. Like illusions chipping the tower is never going to work either. It's going to take forever. Well, I have a buttload of gold now. Um, God, does that feel good? 
Um, I can, I mean, I can get like a moon shard or something, but is that the item purchase here? Is that what makes most sense? Could hypothetically get like an abyssal. Is there some other item I should buy before I go like moon shard and BOTs too and gem? way more than me. TB is a lot easier to split push and I got Manta really late, so. Give me your Hammer. You guys are on the right path, I think. This makes sense. Something like Ags is at all reasonable. It spawned me a lot more illusions. Oh, that's a huge fucking kill. How do you get that? BKB. the old 40 minute pause. Bye, Jim. Especially like an AC, something like that. I feel like we'll win fights, I don't know. It'll it'll lose my uh, it'll kill my ability to break Lincolns, I guess, but Yeah, he's not wrong. Maybe I should get Scotty by eggs to push now. I guess I could get BKB and just have it. BKB swap out. I mean, I don't really kill them very fast. The only heroes I can kill easily are like maybe Jakiro or Shaker, if that. This guy's got magic resistance. This guy's got Shivas now. Yep. Definitely agree with him on that one. Huh. Thanks for the subs. Divine Reaper, yeah, that's not very good. It would make my hero do more damage, but it doesn't make my illusions hit harder. What if something like Radiance would be kind of valuable? Break Blink Daggers. Because as long as there isn't like a big Echo Slam, I think we win the every fight pretty much.
Even like swapping BKB in kind of sucks too, because I have to put it in for a damage item. I can't put it in for heart, I can't put it in for manta. I could swap it in for butterfly, I guess. Would be one thing. Maybe Scotty would make more sense too, because then I could actually slow people that are that I'm chasing. Let's message Steven, see if he has any ideas. I have 45 minutes. This actually might be my only game. I might have to play. I'll, maybe I'll do a sub game for my second game. Because I have to cast at 3. It's in uh, 45 minutes. or something maybe that makes sense yeah I mean I kind of need mana regen to be honest I'm getting drained by my diffusal blade Quap was here Shadow Blade anyways. I, mean, I kinda think I think Bloodthorn doesn't I think it makes some sense here. We need the mana regen. Um, the crit obviously is not perfectly stacking with my level twenty five, but gives me some damage. Uh, it's much less for my illusions, I guess. My illusions will hit weaker, but need some like way to be able to affect fight outcomes decently so right now just like illusion right click isn't enough and it's never going to be because i need defensive items if i could forego like heart of trask and mkb and just go like agility items yeah i'd be fine but but that one's really expensive too 7k buying the moon shard now feels like a waste a little i don't even have mana like well, i kind of need some mana regen item who wants his cheese Here, take this, Tide. Place I've actually farmed ring. so many bugs this game. It's great. Just need the ability to gain. This guy needs a blink. Holy shit, dude. Does he need a blink? If we just, if he just like blink initiates on the right guy, we can actually win fights. I don't know why he doesn't have it. It's all he's thinking about is... He's divine 3. He's not even that good. I shouldn't listen to him as much. If that guy just has a blink dagger, he can actually we can actually kill gank people, but he doesn't have a blink, so there's like no way. Just farm until I get blood thrown, I guess. Stupid as this is. a way to catch them when they're split pushing or we need wards too just put wards we in this line ravage, get a gem well dude we have to like engage it's so much easier if we have vision around the around their base and then just initiate like we can we don't necessarily have to do a 5v5 ravage assault oh, shit. Oh, I'm dead. oh i swear i pressed that I think I turned to cast a doppelganger, but I didn't do it in time. I knew he was going to echo, obviously. Like, this is the problem with players that are a little bit lower in MMR. They think the game is so simple. They're like, dude, if we just group up and push, it just ends. It doesn't work like that, though.
but instead what's happening is we're just running around trying to like all in drop boards. This is like my least favorite playstyle on um, Shadow Shaman players, to be honest. It's just so annoying. Even then, like why not get 60 wards attack damage if he's gonna do this build? Doesn't really make sense to me. Or should go with no mana. We could do shit like that all game, basically. I'm just gonna bring this. There's three Observer Wards on the Courier that I bought a while ago. Like, I bought those wards so long ago. This is like... Like, the fact that the supports haven't been placing wards this whole time is so bad. I'm just bringing the Orchid, that way I can, um... Use it to refill my mana if I get low. There's one. Everybody just gets so lazy around like fork MMR. They just don't know how to transition the game to an easy one. They just they just think like, oh, we should just overpower them when they're on at their strongest near their their near their uh, ancient. And it was like a consistent problem that whole game. I feel like uh, like. Like, this is like the typical area, like, these guys played well, but they didn't know how to play Dota super well, is all. They're just too insistent, like, oh, all we have to do is double ravage them, we'll win every fight. But even getting to that point requires you to push on all the lanes, have nobody get killed, then we group as five and go high ground. And the whole time we have no vision, so we're just, like, split pushing and farming and waiting for something to happen. They're not smoking to move places as a group, like, we don't have vision, we're not dewarding them, we should have had a gem, we could have um, put Observer Wards all around the base, and then if any of their heroes come forward... All you do is you blink hex shackle somebody. You break the Lincolns with hex and they're shackled and then we got a fucking kill. Every time. That could happen every time with Shadow Shaman and Sky together. Those two heroes can kill any hero in the game. One disable plus Sky with Mage, dead hero. But it never happens. They just think like, oh, all we should do is take Roshan and then go high ground. It's so easy. But it's not that straightforward. It's really not. You just It's so much easier if you just kill somebody. Like why, why force a 5v5 in the off chance that maybe they get a better initiation or maybe they pop their BKBs or maybe we don't do quite as much damage as we thought we did or maybe Weaver saves one of them, you know? What if he's not caught in the Ravage and he, he just ags ulties somebody? Like it gets so much harder if that's the case. That kind of stuff is just not worth gambling on. So I don't know, it's frustrating. Um, those guys sounded very confident and then I re remembered to check their medals and they're not very high. These guys especially, and this guy is like, I don't know, that's probably like low 5k or something like that. It's not it's not bad MMR, but the fact that this is the, the, the third highest MMR and he doesn't have a blink dagger is actually insane to me. It's actually insane, it blows my mind. He should certainly have a blink dagger. You, you just can't skip it, he doesn't have force, he doesn't have blink. If they go on this guy ever, he just dies. If The only example is, uh, the only uh, uh, um, case where that doesn't happen is because of Glimmer Cape, but Glimmer alone is like, pretty pretty limited in doing that so i don't know not the best plays there